Hi, this is Drew at Finale Fireworks. Today, I'm excited to announce a new version of Finale 3D, which is called Finale 3D Lite. With the addition of this product, we now offer three versions of Finale 3D, which are called Lite, Hobbyist, and Pro. In this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate the key features of all three versions. But before I do, I'll answer a few common questions to help you get started with Finale 3D. The first question is, what kind of computers can run Finale 3D? The answer is that all versions of Finale 3D have the exact same system requirements. You'll need a computer running Windows 7, 8, 10, or 11. Finale 3D can also be run on a Mac if it is set up to run Microsoft Windows using Bootcamp or Parallels. When it comes to hardware, the most important component for running Finale 3D is your computer's video card, also called a graphics card or GPU. Ideally, your computer should have a discrete or dedicated graphics card. The bottom line is, the better your graphics card, the better Finale 3D will run. The best way to find out how well your computer can run Finale 3D is to install the software and give it a try. If you're shopping for a new computer, Look for one that advertises a dedicated AMD Radeon or preferably an NVIDIA GeForce series graphics card. The next question is, how can I get the Finale 3D software? The answer is that you can try Finale 3D for free anytime by visiting Finale3D.com. Once on the website, go to the download page. Here, all you need to do is download the latest release at the top of the page. All three versions of Finale 3D are contained in every downloadable release. The version and the features that you get when you run the software are entirely controlled by the license attached to your Finale 3D account. Once the download is complete, click or double click on the download file and Finale 3D will install and launch automatically. At the login screen, Enter the email address and password for your Finale 3D account. Or, if you've never used Finale 3D before, click the Create Account button and follow the instructions to create a free account. It's important to know that the first time you use Finale 3D, you most likely won't have a license attached to your account. As a result, Finale 3D will run in light demo mode. In this mode, you can try all the features of the light version but saving and exporting are disabled. If you'd like to try Lite with the option to save your work or to try Hobbyist or Pro, click Request Free Trial License in the upper right-hand corner of the design window. This will take you to finale3d.com forward slash store. Here, all you need to do is click the green Request a Free Trial License button, complete the form, and a member of the Finale 3D team will activate a license for you. If you have any trouble, you can send an email to support at finale3d.com. Another great online resource is the English and Spanish Finale 3D Forum, which you can find here in the community menu on the website. With those three common questions answered, let's take a look at the key features of Finale 3D Lite. Once a Finale 3D Lite license is attached to your account, either because you requested a free trial or because you purchased a subscription, all you need to do to use the license is launch Finale 3D and log in. The first time you do this, make sure that Sync with Network is checked so your license is activated. The next time you start Finale 3D, or any time you need to work without an internet connection, you can uncheck Sync with Network to log in offline. You can work offline as much as you want. Just remember that you'll need at least one successful login every two weeks to confirm your license with the Finale 3D servers. Now that we have the light version up and running, let's take a look at the user interface. The default window arrangement consists of three windows. On the left half of your screen, you will see the design window. In the upper right portion of your screen, you will see the effects window and in the lower right portion of your screen, you will see the script window. You can resize and rearrange all of these windows, but each time you start Finale 3D Lite, 
it will revert to this default window arrangement. The design window in light features a 16 by 9 real-time simulation with two views. The front view allows you to slide left and right and zoom in and out. The top view allows you to easily configure your firing position layout. Here I'll switch to the top view and add a few more positions by going to Show, Add Position. There is no limit to the number of firing positions you can use when designing a show in the light version of Finale 3D. The bottom portion of the design window shows the timeline. If you want to design a show with music, here you can add a pre-edited soundtrack by going to Show, Add Song. Finale 3D Lite includes thousands of pre-made effects, which are accessible in the built-in generic effects collection and in the form of supplier catalogs, which you can access by going to the File menu and choosing Catalogs of Effects. This will take you to the website, where you can just flip the subscribe switches to true for the catalogs you want. Then, do File, Sync with Network in Finale 3D to download the catalogs. Once the sync is complete, the catalogs will be available in the Effects window drop-down list. In addition to pre-made effects, you can also create your own effects by going to the Effects menu and choosing Create Effect by typing description of it. You can create an unlimited number of effects and save them to the cloud in your own personal My Effects collection. The range of effects you can access or create in the light version of Finale 3D is exactly the same as the higher-end hobbyist and pro versions. The quality of the simulations that you see in real time in the light version are also exactly the same. The light version has no limit to the number of effects or cues that you can add to your show. When you have finished your design, you can assign addresses for your firing system by going to the Addressing menu and choosing Address Show. Here you can select any major firing system in the world, control the max number of e-matches allowed per pin, set your starting module number, and choose from a set of basic sorting and wiring options. After addressing, you can export your script by going to the File menu, Export Firing System Script Files. In the Export Options dialog, set the appropriate options for your firing system, and then click Continue to generate and save your script. The light version also includes a set of built-in reports and labels, which you can access by going to File, Print. For example, let's generate a wiring script report. This is the report that you would use in the field to set up your show. Let's also generate labels by going to File, Print, Labels. You can apply these labels to each of your fireworks when you prepare and pack your show to make setting up as easy as possible. This brings us to the end of the key features for Finale 3D Lite. Now let's take it to the next level with a look at Finale 3D Hobbyist. The Hobbyist version includes all the features in light plus everything I'm going to present right now. To get started, I'll go ahead and log in. When the account dialog is displayed, I can confirm I'm running the Hobbyist version by looking at the license information displayed here. At first glance, the most obvious difference between light and hobbyist is that instead of a 16 by 9 letterbox format, the simulation area in hobbyist completely fills the design window. Also, while the light version is limited to a front view, hobbyist supports full 3D navigation and custom camera presets, making it easy to jump from one saved viewpoint to another while designing a show. In hobbyist, you can also add custom camera animation to move the camera from one viewpoint to another during playback and in exported videos. Speaking of videos, while the light version does not export videos, the hobbyist version allows you to render videos at 720p resolution, 
the result is an MP4 video file ready for upload to YouTube or for use in other applications outside Finale 3D. Another key feature in Hobbyist is racks. You can use built-in racks or you can create your own custom rack definitions. Here's an example of a custom 3-inch fan rack. This rack has three rows, each row has 10 tubes, and the tubes fit 3-inch shells. To make the fan, the left and right rows are tilted at 20 degrees. To calculate the number of racks needed for your show, go to Racks, Add Racks for Show. In the Add Racks dialog, let's use the built-in Easy Racks for 2 inch and 2.5 inch. But for 3 inch, let's select the custom fan rack. For this example, let's skip racking the cakes and single shots and click Add to calculate the quantity of racks needed. Finally, let's go to File, Reports, Basic Reports, Rack Totals. This will generate a PDF report listing the racks that are needed for the show. The next major feature in Finale 3D Hobbyist is DMX. The DMX feature set allows you to design hybrid shows with pyro and a wide range of DMX driven special effects like flames, sparks, and stationary or moving headlights. You start by configuring positions as DMX fixtures, which includes setting the position type, DMX address, and the fixture type. You can choose from a wide range of fixtures already supported in Finale 3D, with more fixtures being added all the time. After configuring your fixtures, you can filter the effects window to the selection of compatible effects. Then add effects to your design, just like you would with Pyro. When you're ready to export your show, Finale 3D will generate a DMX script for any supported firing system that also supports DMX. Rounding out the features in Hobbyist, this version also includes enhanced scripting and productivity tools to take your designs to the next level. This includes custom window arrangements that make it easy to save the size and position of workspace windows in exactly the configurations you like. It also includes built-in and custom table layouts that allow you to seamlessly switch between different table views with a single click. Additionally, you get a significantly more robust collection of scripting tools that add flexibility and efficiency for creating more advanced patterns of effects. Hobbyist also gives you an option to replace the default blank show that loads when you launch Finale 3D. And finally, Hobbyist also includes over 50 more built-in report and label templates. This wraps up the key features for Hobbyist. Now let's take a look at the most powerful version, Finale 3D Pro. Just like Hobbyist includes all the features in Lite, Finale 3D Pro includes all the features of the other two versions and much more. Once again, I'll get started by logging in and I can see that I'm running Pro by looking at the license information displayed in the account dialog. There are several key features that set Finale 3D Pro apart from the light and hobbyist versions. The first is the visual rack layout. While hobbyists can calculate rack quantities, Pro allows you to see your racks and gives you full control to arrange them in any configuration you like. Here's the rack layout for position 5 in the current show. First, I'll add racks with the same selections I made in Hobbyist, except this time let's include the racks for cakes and single shots. With the racks added, you can drag and drop them into any arrangement you like. Pro includes significantly more advanced addressing options, which, coupled with the ability to visually arrange racks, allows you virtually unlimited flexibility to create the best possible firing system assignments and production plans. To make addressing even easier, 
Pro allows you to address your show position by position and see your racks being loaded in real time. Pro even allows you to save addressing configurations called addressing blueprints for different scenarios and then assign them to your positions. This is especially useful when you need to handle addressing for different kinds of effects on different positions. To make your designs even more impressive, Pro allows you to incorporate 3D models and Google Maps 2D ground imagery. To demonstrate, let's go to File and create a new show. Next, let's go to Google Maps in a web browser and copy the coordinates for our show location. Then, in Finale, we'll go to Scenery, Background Images, Set Ground to Google Map, and paste in the coordinates. After adjusting the brightness, let's add a model by going to Scenery, Models, Add Model. After one more brightness adjustment, we're ready to start laying out our positions and designing our show. When you're ready to head to your shoot site, Finale 3D Pro provides the same built-in reports and labels as Hobbyist, but adds graphical site layouts, rack diagrams, and best of all, allows you to fully customize your reports and labels. For reports, this means you can control which columns of data are visible, the order and widths of columns, how the rows are sorted and combined, and even add page breaks or conditional formatting. For labels, this means you can define your own custom label templates, control what information is displayed on the labels, set custom formatting, and much, much more. All in all, the custom report and label options allow you to see exactly the information you want, exactly the way you want to see it. Last but not least, to show off your work, Pro allows you to render MP4 simulation videos in up to 4K resolution. These videos are ready for uploading to YouTube or sharing with your clients. And with that, we've reached the end of this presentation demonstrating the key features in Finale 3D Lite, Hobbyist, and Pro. On behalf of myself and my colleagues here at Finale, thanks very much for watching. And we can't wait to see the incredible shows you design using Finale 3D.